Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join Chris King as he brings us today's message. Good morning, church. Excited to be here again. Hey, I know we don't mention this enough, but we want to thank you, thank all of you for tuning in every day. Uh, we're always happy to see everybody that shows up. Uh, and like always, uh, feel free to comment, ask questions, uh, just say something, uh, especially if you want to know something more about the, something that one of us is talking about, anything. Uh, or even just to say hi. I mean, we love seeing all of those too. So uh, last week we talked about Ecclesiastes 3.11 and that there's more to life than just to here and now. Along with that, we also need to know that the way that we see life is what shapes our life. Our perspective of life influences all aspects of our lives. Stop for a second and ask yourself, what do you picture in your head when you think of the word life? That little image or thought that just popped into your head? That's your life metaphor. How, your life, how you view your life in general, uh, consciously or unconsciously, that is the description, your description of life and how it works. That little unspoken life metaphor influences our lives more than what we think. For instance, if you think life is a party, then you're all about only having fun. Uh, if you think that life is a race, uh, speed is on your mind. You'll oftentimes always be in a hurry. I mean, I know how that goes. So, Or opposite of that one, if you think life is a, is a marathon, you, you'll find that endurance is important to you and rushing to get things done isn't, isn't high on your priority list. So what did your life metaphor show you? Is it based on what can be considered a, a faulty world life metaphor? To fulfill our purpose that God made us for, we have to challenge conventional wisdom. Get rid of those worldly thoughts of life and replace them with biblical metaphors of life. One such biblical metaphor is that, that life on earth is a test. This is seen throughout the Bible. When we see things like trials, temptations, refining, these are all instances where God continuously tested people's characters, faith, obedience, love, uh, etc., things like that. God tasted, tested Abraham ooh, God tested Abraham with asking him to sacrifice Isaac. He tested Jacob with the extra years he had, that he had to work to earn Rachel. Uh, Joseph, Ruth, Esther, Daniel, all these people are God that, that people that God tested uh, that we have examples of. Uh, some passed. Some failed. But either way, just like, just like us, they learned from that test and it helped build their character, their faith, hope, love, and things of that like. James 1.12 tells us, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for he has stood the test. He will uh, excuse me, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. When we begin to understand that life is a test, we realize that nothing in that life is insignificant. Uh, even the smallest little incidents has significance, whether it be for development, growth, uh, deepening our character, demonstrating love, or just for us to depend on how to, God, how to depend on God more. The good news is that God wants us to pass every test. Some tests may seem like they're overwhelming, but others may seem like you may not even notice them at all. But either way, God wants us to pass every one of them. Just like James says in that verse, God will reward us eternally when we do. Think about this today. What has happened to you recently that you now realize was a test from God? Did you ask him if you passed? Or turn to his word to see the lesson that you were supposed to learn? If you ask, he'll let you know. Let's play. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being able to gather here together today again. Lord, we, we are so grateful that, that you can put us to the test to help improve our lives, to bring our lives closer to you. Uh, I ask and I pray that, that every situation that you put me into, uh, or any of us that you put any of us into, that, that we learn that lesson and that we take the biblical learnings to each one of those tests to find our way through it, to bring us closer to you, to grow our life closer to you. Lord, we love you. We're grateful to be able to gather here again, and we pray all this in your name. Amen. Guys, 
again, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about any of it, about any any of the speakers, feel free to jump on here and say something. We're, we're always watching. So other than that, we will see you all on Sunday. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.